there's something to be said about stocking up. The joys in stocking up and how you can reap a lot of benefits by learning that very powerful skill. And that is stocking up. In October, I used the little funds that I had and I bought sugar and now I'm out of sugar and now I can stock up and it's so nice not to have to run to the grocery store whenever you need something. You know, there's something to be said about being more self-sufficient or about being more prepared in your own home and having a grocery store in your own home. Videos where I'm in my pantry are my highest viewed videos because people love to look around and see all the things that I have. Well, I just got done doing a video on making some strawberry jam that is pineapple strawberry jam. If you missed it, it's up here. And I ran out of sugar. So today I'm going ahead and I'm just going to replenish my stock. got all the sugar on Walmart because if you spend $35 or more it's free shipping well it doesn't take much to spend $35 these days and so I went and got all the things that I think I'm gonna need throughout the year I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my containers and that way I can keep rotating everything that I have my favorite room of my whole house is this pantry I love this pantry it is artwork it is a work of love just to look around and see all the things that I made this summer. Now, my pantries are a three-year pantry. I rotate everything every three years. Nothing in this pantry is over three years old. If you guys were seeing last year's video where I took everything out of this room and redid everything, I know exactly what I have and how many years it is. Now, I will use up food within three Every once in a while, I would have used up a food that was four years old, but three years for me is pretty much pushing it. I really don't want to have food much longer than that, but I rotate it. I make the same things every year, and so I just keep rotating everything. All right, now we're going to go ahead and put all the sugar into my jars, and now I can call it a day. I've been really busy working in the kitchen, and I thought I would just come in here and share with you a typical part of my day. And that means being in this room and in my pantry, all of the rooms that I have, I use every single day. So I'm always going into my grocery store and my children, every week I fill a box of things for my children and they enjoy that. And it's a great, it's a great pride and accomplishment in being able to do so. Okay, so let's fill up all these jars. And I always fill my jars up in this room where I'm at. Anyhow, that way I don't need to keep lugging around jars here and there. So what I do is I have all of my bulk jars in here, and then one of them I take out into the kitchen. Stocking up, there is a wise truth into stocking up. I think people don't realize that food doesn't expire as quickly as they think it does. You know, you see the expiration date and, oh, that's the date. That means it's not good. And that simply isn't the case. Now you have to treat your food very well. In other words, you have to have a good ventilated room that's kept dark and you have to make sure that you look at your cans and make sure you can things properly and all of that, especially nowadays. Going to the grocery store, you know, you're fighting all the traffic and, well, you know, all the stuff that's going on in this world that we're living in. So the least amount I can go away, the better I am and the happier I am. And there's still great bargains, even online. Walmart.com has a lot of great bargains when it comes to food and stocking up. So I hope you enjoy spending this little part of the video with me and sharing with you my thoughts on stocking up and my thoughts on being prepared and having a grocery store in your own home. Basically, that's what it is. It's a grocery store. My whole goal was two years ago was to try to have a room that had just as much variety of foods as a grocery store. Of course, not brand names, but variety of food. And I do. I have every vegetable you can imagine. I have flour and sugar and oatmeal and I have beans and rice and seven different kinds of beans and three different kinds of rice and powdered milk and peanut butter and honey, and brown sugar, and molasses, anything that you can imagine I have. And it is so nice and it takes some skill in being organized or you won't know where all of those things are. And so I have everything organized. 
you know, I even have popcorn and I have nuts and berries, all kinds of dehydrated tomatoes, everything you can imagine I have dehydrated. And it's so nice because dehydrating stuff, it's so fresh. Oh, it smells so good, so fresh. And I implement that in my meals as well. People say, well, how do you add dehydrated food? Well, if I make spaghetti sauce, I throw a couple dehydrated tomatoes in there. If I'm making pizza, I'll put a couple dehydrated tomatoes in there. Uh, lasagna, dehydrated tomatoes. Making vegetable soup, throw a handful of dehydrated vegetables in the soup. That's how I do it. You don't need a recipe, a specific recipe to make dehydrated foods. You just throw them in whatever you're cooking. And you know, some people thought that was really crazy when I made this. These are pecans in syrup. And this is for when I make my sticky bun roll recipe, which is coming up here in just a couple days. All I gotta do is break open one of these and pour it in the pan and put my sticky buns on top. And there you go, voila. I did this when I had the pecans on a good deal because pecans don't stay very fresh very long, but if you can them, they stay fresh almost forever. <laughs> They'll stay fresh for at least two years. So that to me is almost forever. You would have it pretty much ate all before that. Turkey, chicken. I have beef. I'm looking, oh, you know, beyond the camera to see what I'll have. Barbecue green beans, you know, everything you can imagine. Strawberry pie filling. I'm hungry for a strawberry pie. And I'm going to be making that probably next week. Guess what? Here's my strawberry pie filling. I have everything to make the strawberry pie. I have the flour and the salt. And so, I love pantry living. I love stocking up. I like the old way of doing it. I'm not much of a prepper when it comes to, I don't buy a lot of grocery store items. What I do is I look at things in the grocery store and I think to myself, how can I create that and not buy it? And so you're gonna be seeing videos on Hamburger Helper, making that by hand. And it's long-term storage all of these things. And so thank you guys so much for stopping in and giving me a visit and spending a little time in my pantry. It is a very peaceful and comforting feeling sitting in here because I know that we won't go hungry. My whole family, a family of 10 of us, won't go hungry for a long time. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Do you like stocking up? Here are some of my very first vintage videos from 2017 on how to stock up food.